What's poppin', y'all? My name is Raquel Harris, but you can call me Rocky. I'm a multimedia journalist who covers red carpets, junkets, and so much more. And along the way, I get to talk to some of the coolest people who make the TV shows and films we all know and love. So join me as I take you behind the scenes on my red carpet adventures. at the lion's gate screening for angel has fallen gonna be working for you are web today sorry i couldn't give you guys the uh, you know behind the scenes in the morning i was rushing to work but i got my pens and stuff we're gonna take notes and it's gonna be fun see you guys later oh and real quick we're at the four seasons they gave us these nice plush blankets Look at the best line. This beautiful seating too. And look y'all. Oh. Yes. Look my best line. And go on. Back and forth with <laughs> y'all. Blush. Cute. Got my wine. And we in this, this lit up y'all i have so much energy today like i had the best sleep oh my gosh but welcome to my vlog but no okay so two nights ago i went to the screening for angel has fallen the trequel i like to say like you know the third installment um sequel of uh like because there's olympus has fallen london has fallen and i believe now this is angel has fallen starring morgan freeman nick nolte and of course gerard which is actually pronounced jurid we might talk about that today in the junket so jurid butler um morgan freeman nick nolte so many other cool people to piper parobo like i mean it's gonna be great right so um we're gonna be talking angel has fallen um it's, there's a lot of political themes in it i don't want to ruin too much but you should definitely go see it it's out on the 20th i believe definitely check it out because it's like action-packed well written i mean great casting obviously um and then i'll also be talking to the director as well so we get to see all the like behind the scenes like cool little tips and tricks that they probably you know implemented into the film um I feel like this lipstick is real loud, but I'm not really sure. Kinda. Mm, maybe we'll do like a mix, maybe. But anyway, yeah, so, um, super excited. Um, gonna be at the Four Seasons once again. That's actually where the screening was, too. By the way, I sh showed y'all, like, what it was like being there. Like, plush, you know, seats, cushions, and these blankets that they just give you, plus wine. It was just cute. But, um, yeah, so, uh, it's gonna be at the Four Seasons again, like how 47 Meters Down was. Um, I'm excited for this food that may be there. And, uh, yeah, all the other fun stuff that we can get into. I'll give you guys all the behind the scenes. As usual, stay tuned. I'm about to go print out my, uh, stuff, my cue cards at Staples again, you know. And, uh, yeah, so, see y'all. To the four seasons, I have to go to twelve eighteen. Thank you. <laughs> so twelve eighteen. Elevators are that way. Oh, beautiful. I mean, I guess I could have just went up one floor. Yeah. Today we kind of missed you know, really. mm -hmm. Oh, my God. 
first of all, amazing film. I loved it very, very much. Um, I feel like after everything that Bannon has done, the country just turned on him so quickly. I'm so glad you said that, because that's exactly what I felt. And I actually almost took it personally, you know, going through the movie going, are, are you kidding me? Yeah. Do you know what I did? Even if I did try to kill the president, what about the times I saved them? Exactly. But, but um, it does lead to some great drama and yes, thrills. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I feel like the big message in this was learning to let go of things that, you know, may not always be great for you. When was the time in your life where you had to let go of something that was just not working out anymore? Um, probably my career right now. <laughs> no, um, law. I was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I studied law and I trained as a lawyer and um, I hated it. I was mm. very depressed. And um, actually, they let me go, but I could have still pursued it. And, and I realized, you know, cut your losses. And literally that day, I packed my bags and moved to London and said, screw it, you know what? I'm going to aim for the stars because this is what I want to do anyway. But was acting always in the back? Acting was always in the back of my mind, but I'd lost that goal because the problem is you get sucked into law. You study law mm -hmm. and you go, well, I've done, I've done this much. I right. should do my diploma. I've done this much. I should do my traineeship. Mm -hmm. And the next minute, you know, you're 60 years old and you go, wait, I've been a lawyer my whole life. And that's not necessarily what was in my soul. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got lucky by being a total mess. Absolutely. So for Rick first, mm -hmm. this movie has a lot of current political themes in it and it's very overt. What made you want to tackle that with this um, in third installment? Um, I don't know about their political themes or mm -hmm. just relevant themes. Relevant okay. themes of what cont what we're feeling in the contemporary world. And um, when they brought me into this franchise, and you know, and Jerry Butler called and said, "Look, I want to kind of take it in a new direction. Um, take the action spectacle of the first two movies, and then do much more of a like human story of the origin story of Mike Banning." So my job is about authenticity, and so it's hard for me to live in a world that I'm trying to paint, even though we're doing something of fiction to make it feel relevant, to make it feel authentic. So you start grabbing things out of headlines, you start grabbing things that mm -hmm. we're all relatable to, um, not only the United States, but the entire world is dealing with um, a lot of world of division, um, things of loyalty, um, uh, the ideas that people have become hyper identity with their political opinions and so forth. For, for me, my job is always to put the audience in the 50 yard line, show the hot topic buttons that we're facing and the issues that we're facing and let people debate it out. I mean, debate is how things get changed. Absolutely. And another big message um, that I loved was learning to let go of things. Um, mm -hmm. For each of you, I would like to know when was a time in your life where you had to learn to let go of something that you knew was going to be toxic in the end for you? <laughs> every day. Every, every day? Yeah, every couple of hours. I grab a hold of anything I can grab and think I'm finally there. Mm -hmm. You know, so I get adjusted, especially your kids adjust you. Mm -hmm. You know, because they'll call you out, you know. <laughs> you know, you can't. Are they the best truth tellers, your kids or well, your loved yeah, ones? Yeah, they're, 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 they're pretty consistent, mm -hmm. you know. It depends how much you can trick your kid. But if you got a really sharp one, though, they'll just say, okay, Dad, yeah, you know, that's what you said the other day. And we got you at home, man, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It, you, your brain or your ego is constantly trying to get security, mm. to get uh, confirmed some way. And um, truth is, reality is very elusive and it's very momentary. It's about staying aware of the moment, really. And, uh, but you're always seeking conclusions, you know. Yeah. That's why filmmaking is so much fun. <laughs> yeah, because you, you get to let it go. Out. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. probably mine is just not living story. in hurt or vengeance or anger. Right. To get over it and move forward. And something I've really learned from this man, too, is just being around him is um, when you work with guys like this that don't have to really do this anymore, mm -hmm. and you know they're not doing it for the paycheck as much as they might joke about it, you know that they're in there and they're passionate about it, and they love the people around them and they love the process of it. There's so much to live for in the moment and forward, mm -hmm. it makes you forget about all the crap that we should be let putting behind us. Absolutely. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> cigarettes is your big thing where you're like, the truth addicted. comes out. Yeah. I was addicted to cigarettes. I would do anything for a cigarette. I mean, I remember getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and blizzard going out to find a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> so, yes. I, you got to try herbal marijuana, maybe. It's legal now. Uh, yeah, I mean, Maybe. I'm all for marijuana. <laughs> there uh, you go. Yeah, 110%. <laughs>
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. The film, it tackles a lot of current political issues, and I know you're a political person yourself. Yeah. Do you ever get nervous sometimes stepping into roles that where you have to kind of challenge the current political climate? No. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. <laughs> In fact, like, I feel it's a privilege to have the platform that I have, especially to be able, n now that I have some success, to be able to choose stories that I really, not that I would ever do something that I don't believe in, yeah. but I can be more intentional about my choices to say, I heard Shonda Rhimes was talking um, in a uh, like a conference that mm -hmm. I was at, and she said, um, I don't write the world that I see when I look out the window, I write the world I wish I saw. Mm. And I thought, yeah, and we can do that as actors too. Yeah. 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 And that, that's how it works. Angel has fallen. All there we go. <laughs> And now you're out. And we're all now about to run find out how to run away. Run away. Thank you. This is amazing. Hey, everybody. I'm Rocky Harris for EUR Web. And before we get into our interviews for Angel Has Fallen, I'm sitting with the amazing XCI agent Jason. You're going to tell us all about how to be an escapee, where we're going to be running out of, like, what, duct tape? You're going to duct tape me? Correct, I am. So, okay. So I'm going to teach you some escape innovation techniques. Okay. Duct tape is very common during home invasions and kidnapping. So they're going to duct tape you to the chair and then go ransack your master bedroom or do other bad things. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to get out in seconds. Whew. All right. So you guys, hopefully you never get kidnapped ever in your life. But if you do, watch Jason. He's going to tell you what to do. Yeah. So All I'm right. going to actually, I'm going to have you do it to me first. Okay. That okay. That way you can see it and it makes <laughs> sense. And then I'm going to have you do it. So if you can just duct tape me to the chair. All right. So I'll just sit here and literally just go around. Okay. Like they do in the movies. So like a criminal is going to do in real life. So wow. you can go around three times, four times. Three times. What, whatever amount you would like. And he's telling, listen, I'm, I'm taping him really. It is tight. So I can, yeah, I can tell that uh, okay. you've well, done this before. <laughs> Listen, not by choice, I don't think. So what you want to do is you want to jolt forward lightning fast as if you're putting your head between your legs so you're kissing the floor. Okay. So here's how it should look. I'm seated straight, boom, and then I'm out. But, but you really got to put some emphasis. You really got to lean forward putting your head between your legs. You ready? Oh my gosh, I think so. Okay. Wow. Let's find out. But it just, so it just broke off from the sides. All right, let me grab. Some more duct tape. I'll have you sit back okay. in the chair. Cool. And I'm gonna go around and a few times. Listen, I don't know if I'm gonna be as great as Jason. I feel like it's right. just gonna be. Just stuck. remember, you gotta put some force into it. So you're gonna jolt forward. Okay. Put your head like you're about to kiss the floor. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Oh. Hey. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> I you're, did not you're, think that was gonna work. You're out and you did it. Good deal. <laughs> My mic is popping out, everything, y'all. It's a mess. Okay, so wait, <laughs> that is crazy. You did it, you survived, you're not dead, which is always always good news. You could see that we used a lot of duct tape. So wow. that wasn't a small amount. But so it doesn't matter how much duct tape you use. If they use a ton, you're just gonna have to have more force, but you'll have that adrenaline dump in okay. real life, so you'll be a lot stronger. Mm, okay, so then what's next? Do we have okay. anything next? We do have something next. Okay. We have wrists. All right. So again, I'll have you go around my wrist. Or I'll take this off so awesome. you're not <laughs> wearing duct tape around. Right. Go I'm right around my wrist, just like criminals would. Yep. I don't want to tape your. Now hair. don't worry about my hands. That that hair will grow back. Oh man. Okay. Now, just like we escaped the chair that you just did, mm -hmm. it's all about the angle with this too. Okay. So the angle for this is don't try and pull apart this way, which is natural because we're not strong enough. Right. So put your hands high above your head, and you're gonna pull your hands apart as you come down. I'll show you because I know it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So here's how it looks. I want to do this and then I come down like that. The key is, is you really got to separate your hands at the top. So it's like a triangle motion. Correct. Okay. Because what some people do is they come down here and then try and pull apart. Uh -huh. They're not that strong. So you've got to immediately do that. So let okay. me throw this and sneak behind you. Okay. Grab some more duct tape and then I'm going to tape your hands if I can ever find the end of this. So go ahead and put your hands together. Okay. I'm gonna do that, that way I don't get stickiness oh, right. all over your shirt. And just go around, make it nice and tight like the bad guys would. So I'm stuck. You're stuck, yes. You are trapped. Okay. So this is a triangle, right? Yeah, yeah and remember, you've got to really force. pull okay. apart hard. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so, I don't know. No, 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 no. It looked like, here, let me, let me, uh, I, I got to pull my, it looked like you trying to 
Here, put your hands up for me. Oh, real so quick. and even after you try the first time, so, it won't work. No, no, it will. But it, look, you want to do that because it looked like you were oh. trying to come down. Is you, yeah, that's how the motion. Okay. Cool. So I wanted to, I wanted to cut you free. That way we can retire. Retire. That hopefully, hopefully never will. Yeah. I know, LA's right. a crazy place. Let me make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. So yeah, come up and... So it's like more outward. Yeah, pulling okay. out like that. There okay, we go. Okay. Woo. Perfect. I was like, hopefully I don't... No, you're good. Very nice. Okay. Let me show you one more. Let me... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so then this is the third trick. Correct. Okay. So go ahead and put your feet together. All right. And I'm just going to tape your ankles. So you've ran into some real bad guys, so they've duct taped you to the chair, they're duct taping your ankles, they're doing everything. Nothing I can do. Now. The trick to this mm -hmm. is your feet right now are pointing forward. Okay. Is you want to put them in a V, kind of like this as much as you can. Okay. And then you want to drop to the ground very quickly. So you're going to want to stand up for this one. Okay. So form the V with your feet as much as you can and then drop quick. Just drop. Just, yeah, because you're you're trying to have that Just V. Just that force. Correct. Okay. Yep. So, all right, one, two. Oh, there we smooth. go. Okay. And now Woo. you can run and flee to safety. Then Beautiful. I, right. Don't even take the tape off. Just, <laughs> That's just, right. Yes. Just get up out of there. Exactly. Don't listen. Don't watch me. But so that was the last trick. I love that. You did awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for teaching me how to, you know, escape from, you know, scary experiences. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. So, but tell all of our viewers at home where they can see all these tips and tricks. Just spyescape.com. Absolutely. Jason's your guy. So thank you guys so much. And hopefully you never get captured. But if you do, now you know how to get away.